When venturing into the realm of matters of the heart, it becomes paramount to approach with the utmost care and consideration, particularly when your heart beats a little faster in the presence of someone special. When you find yourself enamored by a girl who has captured your heart, it's a journey filled with anticipation and hope. But as you set forth on this path, it's imperative to tread carefully, like a traveler navigating a treacherous terrain. In this enlightening video, we will illuminate the seven things you should absolutely avoid doing around a girl you like. These insights are not meant to be restrictive, but rather as a compass to help you steer clear of common pitfalls, ensuring that your interactions with her are etched in her memory for all the right reasons. So, fasten your emotional seatbelt and join us on this journey, as we explore the crucial never-dos. When pursuing a romantic interest, with the ultimate goal of building a connection that can potentially stand the test of time. Number 1. Don't talk down or poorly about yourself. The concept of don't talk poorly about yourself encompasses the idea that the words we choose to describe ourselves and our actions hold significant weight in social interactions. In essence, it's about maintaining a positive and self-assured demeanor when engaging with others. Negative self-talk, which involves expressing self-doubt, self-deprecation, or excessively focusing on one's perceived flaws, can have several adverse effects in social contexts. When you engage in such behavior, you're essentially highlighting your insecurities, doubts, and a lack of self-belief. This can be off-putting to the person you're interacting with, particularly in a romantic context. Confidence and self-esteem are indeed magnetic qualities. When you exude confidence, it signals to others that you're comfortable in your own skin, that you value yourself, and that you're not seeking external validation or reassurance. These are qualities that are universally attractive and admired. On the contrary, constantly belittling oneself not only diminishes your perceived value, but also places a burden on the other person. They may feel compelled to offer reassurances or compliments continuously, which can become emotionally taxing over time. Moreover, a pattern of negative self-talk can erode the positive energy of an interaction and create an atmosphere of self-pity making it difficult to forge a genuine connection. Number 2. Don't seek for her attention obsessively. The advice of not seeking a person's attention obsessively revolves around understanding the importance of balance and personal space in any relationship. While it's completely natural to want to connect with someone you're interested in, it's equally vital to avoid crossing the line into clinginess or appearing overly needy. Being overly clingy or constantly seeking someone's attention can have several negative consequences in a budding or established relationship. It can make the other person feel suffocated, as if they have no room to breathe or pursue their own interests and activities. This feeling of being overwhelmed can lead to a sense of discomfort and might even push them away. Furthermore, seeking constant attention can create an uneven dynamic in the relationship. It might seem like you're placing the burden of your emotional well-being solely on the other person which can be emotionally taxing. In a balanced relationship, both individuals should have the space to maintain their independence and nurture their own interests and friendships. Maintaining a healthy balance means respecting each other's need for personal space and independence. It allows for the relationship to grow organically, with both parties having the opportunity to miss each other and appreciate the time spent together more fully. This balance also ensures that the relationship doesn't become all-consuming, which can lead to burnout and potential strain. Number 3. Don't put her on pedestal unless she does the same on you. The notion of not placing someone on a pedestal revolves around understanding the importance of maintaining realistic perceptions and healthy boundaries in a romantic relationship. While it's absolutely vital to treat someone you're interested in with respect and kindness, it's equally important not to idealize them to the point where you neglect your own self-worth. When you put someone on a pedestal, it means that you elevate them to an almost mythical or perfect status in your mind. You may perceive them as flawless, attributing qualities and attributes to them that may not necessarily reflect reality. This can lead to an unbalanced dynamic in the relationship. One of the critical aspects of a healthy and balanced relationship is maintaining a sense of equality and mutual respect. Placing someone on a pedestal can disrupt this balance by giving the impression that their needs, desires, and opinions are more important than your own. This not only disregards your own self-worth, but can also lead to the other person feeling uncomfortable or even burdened by the excessive attention and idealization. Moreover, an idealized view of someone can make it challenging to see any red flags or incompatibilities in the relationship. It can cloud your judgment and prevent you from making well-informed decisions about the future of the relationship. Healthy boundaries are essential for creating a relationship where both individuals have the space to express their needs, desires, and opinions without feeling overwhelmed or pressured. Number 4. Don't overshare 
overshare your negative side, focus on the positive. When you overshare negativity, you're essentially focusing on the less favorable aspects of your life, such as problems, complaints, or worries. While it's essential to be open and honest in a relationship, a consistent stream of negativity can create an unbalanced dynamic. It can make the other person feel overwhelmed or even responsible for your emotional well-being, which can be a heavy burden to carry. Moreover, an excessive emphasis on negativity can overshadow your positive qualities and experiences. It can create a perception that you are primarily defined by your problems or challenges, rather than your strengths and achievements. In a romantic context, this can diminish your attractiveness because people are naturally drawn to positivity and those who bring joy and enthusiasm to their lives. Instead, the advice encourages you to emphasize your positive qualities and experiences when interacting with someone you're interested in. This doesn't mean pretend ending that everything is perfect in your life, but rather, it suggests that you prioritize sharing the aspects of your life that bring you happiness, fulfillment, and excitement. Maintaining a positive and balanced conversation not only makes you a more enjoyable person to be around, but also allows for a healthier and more genuine connection to develop. It's important to remember that while it's okay to discuss challenges or negative experiences, doing so in moderation and with a focus on solutions or personal growth is often more constructive and attractive. Number 5. Do not fall in love first. Falling in love too quickly and confessing it prematurely can have several potential drawbacks. First and foremost, it may overwhelm the other person. Love is a significant emotional milestone, and hearing those three words, I love you, can carry significant weight and responsibility. Expressing love too soon can create pressure and might make the other person feel rushed or uncomfortable. Furthermore, it's important to acknowledge that love is not always immediate or simultaneous in a relationship. People often have different timelines for when they develop deep emotional connections. By allowing the relationship to progress naturally, you give both yourself and the other person the time and space to explore your feelings at your own paces. Rushing into declarations of love can also overshadow the earlier stages of a relationship, such as getting to know each other, building trust, and creating shared experiences. These foundational steps are essential for building a strong and lasting connection. Prematurely confessing love can shift the focus away from these crucial building blocks. Instead, it's advisable to allow love to evolve organically. Enjoy the journey of discovering each other, sharing experiences, and nurturing the emotional bond. Take the time to build a foundation of trust and compatibility, which can be the solid ground upon which a lasting and meaningful love can be built. Number 6. Don't invest equal time if she doesn't do the same. In a well-balanced relationship, there is a mutual exchange of time, energy, and emotional investment. Both parties are committed to nurturing the connection and ensuring that it thrives. However, when one person consistently invests significantly more time and effort than the other without receiving a similar level of commitment in return, it can create an imbalance. This imbalance can lead to several negative consequences. First and foremost, it can make the person who invests more feel undervalued and unappreciated. They may begin to question whether their efforts are being reciprocated and whether the other person is equally committed to the relationship. This sense of imbalance can erode trust and satisfaction. Moreover, an unequal investment of time can create a dynamic where one person becomes overly reliant on the other for emotional support or fulfillment. This can lead to feelings of emotional exhaustion and burnout for the person who is consistently giving more. It can also create a situation where one person's needs consistently take precedence over the others. However, it's crucial to remember that relationships are not always perfectly balanced at every moment. Life can bring unexpected challenges or demands that temporarily shift the balance. What's essential is that, over the course of the relationship, there is a sense of overall reciprocity and mutual effort. Conversely, if one person consistently fails to invest time and effort into the relationship, it may be an indication of disinterest or a lack of commitment. In such cases, it's important to have open and honest communication about expectations and needs to determine if the relationship is genuinely equitable and worth pursuing. Number 7. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. The idea of being true to yourself is rooted in the importance of authenticity and honesty. It signifies that the key to forging a genuine connection with someone is to present yourself as you truly are without pretense or masks. This principle holds immense significance for several reasons. When you are genuine and sincere in your interactions, it creates a sense of transparency and reliability. It allows the other person to feel that they are getting to know the real you, which forms the basis for a strong and trustworthy connection. Conversely, pretending to be someone you're not can erode trust and lead to feelings of betrayal, 
if the truth eventually emerges. Moreover, being true to yourself is essential for nurturing a relationship that is based on mutual understanding and acceptance. When you embrace your true self and present it honestly, you are inviting the other person to do the same. This open and accepting environment fosters a deeper level of connection, as both individuals can be vulnerable and share their authentic thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Pretending to be someone you're not can also be emotionally taxing. It requires constant effort to maintain a facade, and it can lead to feelings of insecurity and inadequacy when you fear that your true self might not measure up to the image you've projected. Authenticity, on the other hand, allows for a sense of freedom and self-acceptance that is liberating and fulfilling. That's all for today's video on 7 things you should never do around a girl you like. If you found this video helpful or insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more valuable content. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below, so feel free to share your experiences. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.